she's like, I'm so shy. I'm shy. She's like, with the like this, I'm shy with her legs. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Courtney Fierce here, and welcome back to another booby video. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be doing a Shadow High review. Finally got them in Canada. I found them when I was away in Halifax this past week. So we're starting with Natasha Zima because I think she might be my favorite, to be honest. Her and obviously Heather Grayson. Heather Grayson is iconic, but Nicole Steele is creeping up on me. I don't know why, but there's something about that girly. If you guys want to see what my full thoughts and opinions are on Natasha Zima, some close-up, etc. I do have a lot of thoughts and opinions on her already without even seeing her out of the box. But let's get right into it. So here's a close-up of the Rainbow High box. It says, let your true color shine. I love these, Lily, because they're shadow high. It's opposite. So on the old box, it used to be... The doll was over here. The clothes are right here for Rainbow High. Now for Shadow High, it's flipped. So like literally before it was like doll, them. Here's the back. So we have Natasha Zima, Heather Grayson. Uh, I forget his name. <laughs> Nicole Steele. It's Ash Silverstone. God damn. Nicole Steele. Luna. Madison and I like literally always forget that she doesn't have like a name like that you know what I mean like Madison doesn't mean any of these colors but anyways Luna Madison and then we have Chanel Onyx what does it say at the bottom Rainbow High has officially met its match expect the unexpected from the fine art students of Shadow High and I did notice these are a US box so I don't know if there's actually an international box usually we get the international box in Canada because we have French and English but I guess we're getting the U.S. box this time around. I did hear that these came to Canada first, but I live on the East Coast, so, like, we don't get anything first, much like the East Coast does in America. We get things last, so I'm not sure why we still get this. She is a cosmetic chemistry focus, exactly what I did in college. I actually went to makeup school, and I learned to make makeup and stuff like that, so I guess my focus is much like hers. I am going to university again, but for a totally different thing. So as I open this up, I want to talk to you guys just about where I've been. I had surgery in March. I had surgery for my punani. Any questions down below are that are appropriate are welcome. Uh, if you have inappropriate questions or questions that are, you know, not uh, something that you should ask, then maybe think about that before you ask. But yeah, I am trans. People have been asking for such a long time on this channel. Yes, I am trans. Um, I have videos on this channel, so I don't know. I'm like not like the most open about it, I guess. I have a lot of inner transphobia or a lot of childhood trauma. So people that ask, you know, it can be rude that you're just like, are you trans all the time? Um, so the girls that keep asking that and you know who you are. Like, please just, like, watch out because that could really hurt somebody's feelings. You asking literally all the time in capital letters and then I have to delete the comment because just the way that you're asking is just, like, rude. It's rude. You could just be like, are you part of the LGBT community? Like, that's cool. And, like, you're being nice about it, not aggressive. So there she is. Very easy to get out. And her stand is clear or white, whatever you want to call it. Clear sparkle plastic. And then they come with this new bottom that does say Shadow High on it. It has an SH on the front. And it's got these little um, studs. This honestly looks just like the Rocker 2-pack or the Remix dolls from LOL OMG. Literally exactly the same stand bottom, so that's kind of cool. I'm sorry that I was gone for so long. Honestly, that type of surgery really takes a lot out of you. It literally takes everything out of you as you can imagine because it's something that you're constantly sitting on constantly laying on it's constantly just you know what i mean like that part of your body like you use more than anything else if you can imagine like walking couldn't do that couldn't sit couldn't lay properly for like a long time so yeah, coming back to filming, coming back to doing makeup too, like I haven't even worn any makeup. Coming back to all those things, you gotta relearn everything. Like the, God, 
the amount of time that it took me to like walk properly, I was literally crying at the end of it because it just makes you so sad. You have to like do like a rehab because you have to like learn how to do all those things again. Like your privates are completely different. Your crotch alignment is different. How you like move, flexibility, everything like that is completely, completely changed. So it was honestly a lot of work, but I'm glad that I really stuck to it and was really strong as much as I had a lot of breakdowns during it. So I just had to go off camera just for a minute just because I was getting a little bit anxious and a little bit like panic tacky talking about the whole situation just now that like I'm not trying to keep anything like that from anyone. It just, yeah, childhood stuff and just everything growing up was really difficult when it came to LGBT issues. So I'm really not comfortable sharing gender specific things when it comes to sexuality i am very open i tell everyone from the rooftops that i'm bisexual but when it comes to like my gender identity not really because a lot of people hurt people who are trans for like no reason so that's why i'm not as open about it these boots um yeah i'm just not as open about it just because of those type of things and yeah my heart can't take it anymore. Growing up, family members were very rude. And I lost a lot of friendships because of deciding to be who I am. And, uh, and family members. And so, I don't really talk about those things that often. I just want to say, before I get into it, we are not doing this again. With the gel in the hair. She has gel in her hair. How? MG, I'm coming for you. We're all coming for you. So her hair has gel in it. Um, her hair is really soft though, but it is really thin. I will say that. She has a lot of big spacing, especially in the back, between her plugs. It's literally white, so you probably won't be able to see it, but there is spacing, just know that. This little ponytail situation, not really for me. But the hair is really soft. I love the crimping. Honestly, this hair actually kind of like reminds me of like the crimping and stuff and hairstyle. It reminds me of the doll circle of Ira. So she's got these little blue eyes. She's got a little bit of red down here and a little bit of red slash gray on the lip just to give her a little bit of dimension. She's got a white eyeshadow with the black liner. Her eyebrows are gray. She's got these really cute S and H earrings. Now, the one thing that I saw all other collectors complain about is that the posts are so short. Look how short the post is. I hate the branded earrings, but, and I hate this dress too. This dress is disgusting. This dress is like a bad showgirl's dress. It also has like glue chunks in the feathers. I love this jewel. I love the bow. I love like the little glittery detail. I love that it's satin, but like those feathers are so ugly. Like I'm literally getting grossed out. She's got this little bracelet. We've got jewelry in this with every single like doll. Each one comes with like an accessory slash other jewelry pieces, necklace, wristlet. I, I don't know if anybody has an anklet. Some of them do have molded on rings. They do have little LOL surprise nails, the little long ones. Hers are white, obviously. And then these shoes. Just everything about this first outfit is just not my favorite. Look at these shoes. Not for me. She just looks like a really big Mariah Carey present in like the worst way possible. Like Mariah Carey would literally like slay this dress and she just is not. So sorry. All I want for Christmas is for you to take off this ugly piece of shit dress. Oh, it's strapless. Oh. And her underwear are like yellowy, like pea colored. Okay. Again, I feel like there was a lot of choices with Natasha. I don't know if they were the right ones. So I got Miss Natasha in her second outfit. She's giving very this. Honestly, for me though, I'm gonna be a messy bottom right now and be like, I want more, I want more. I want more. I want more of this. I want more of this rainbow high. I want this. More of this. More of this. That's how much I love this. This is probably my favorite outfit in rainbow high 
history. Like literally, probably my favorite outfit. And I'll explain to you why. Okay, she's giving very, if she wasn't this pale, this white, if she had like a nice tan and some like platinum blonde hair, almost white like this, very Miss Erica Jane, very Miss Housewife of Beverly Hills with this like a fur jacket with these little beaded detailing on it. But it's like, I can't even like explain it to you. It's like crocheted in slash like quilted in. And then she's got this little like pleather two piece moment that has like these pearl details that's got like pearls that go across her boobs and like pearl details on the whole entire thing. And then these sparkle slouched boots with this really cute like triangle heel on it that's like just gonna stab you. Like she could kick somebody in these. She could give you pretty mess herself in these. With the nails, the claws. As Sutton said, the poo-poo nails. <laughs> Don't point your poo-poo nail at me. Don't. Fuck yeah. I don't know if it's really, like, really going to hold up over time because it's got those little like plasticky straps on it. Those are obviously going to snap in a couple years. And then the sparkle on this does come off. Like there's no coating on top of it. So obviously that is probably going to be wear and tear. And then also the glue on it did make them a little bit yellow around the soles where they attached the plastic heel to the material. But like, my God who's got what it takes to make no but for real like who 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 said that she could serve this look at the back who said like i want to look like this every single mother day so her name's not Natasha anymore it's erica this is a 10 out of 10 outfit this is like what i want to see all the time this is what I wanted from her first outfit. This should have been her first outfit. This should be her outfit in the show. Not the ugly flor floral, what? Feather dress, this. What do you guys think? Comment down below. All right, also, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. If you like this video, if you want more Shadow High dolls, there will be more coming very soon because I bought a bunch of them. Subscribe to join the Fierce family. I make new videos every single Fierce Friday and I will see you guys all very soon. We love you guys all so much. Bye, you guys. And remember to always stay fierce. Who's got what it takes to make me shine? What it takes to make me 